drink, you should put Ooh, an umbrella in. Oh, yes, I like it's that. It's a poquito. Uh, these are hummingbird mint. These are yellow live plants where you're getting three of them at $32.98. That price will go away at the end of the day. Our QVC price on this, just so you know, is 40 bucks, which is still very reasonable. Now, you may know Poquito uh, by its alias. Mm -hmm. uh, all plants are like bank robbers. They've got, you know, <laughs> five different passports oh, and three man, different I names. Oh, man, I know. It's tough. Uh, Agastasia, yep. which uh, in certain areas of the country, will grow wild, mm -hmm. so it's a very, very hardy plant, but usually it's not, it's not refined. Not refined, not a long bloomer, just yeah. like a typical perennial, it will just bloom for you for a couple of weeks. But look at not this. Not this one. Yeah, this is really different. Uh, I'll just turn the mic over to you. Well, oh my, Go well, I it. first have to talk about yellow because I know we had our butterfly bush. I am going to drag that over here, but color, color, color. Hummingbird mints typically come in a, a pale purple, and so when we found this poquito in yellow, we are like, yes. Plus, it's we call these perpetuals. At Cottage Farms, we have a line of plants that are called perpetuals, yep. which, guess what? It means they bloom and bloom and bloom and bloom. So, perpetually blooming, and that's the, the big reason why we chose these, because you're going to to get this yellow in your garden from early summer all the way through till a frost. They're going to continue to bloom. They might take a little rest in August, but then they'll keep, they'll come back and they'll keep blooming and blooming. And, and by the way, we're talking about not just one or two stalks oh. of color. Uh, that's been the bragging rights for, you know, high potential blooming perennials. Yes. We're talking about lots of blooms. Lots of blooms. And so poquito is small. The other thing about some hummingbird mints is they've just been really tall. Right. And leggy. A little bit leggy. And they tend to, yes. and, and you get one good rainstorm and they just collapse. Right. Yeah. So. Um, These are shorter, stouter. Shorter, about 18 inches. Shorter, stouter people are. <laughs> Much we, hardier. We can relate. Um, so <laughs> sh they're, they're going to be perfect for in front of your butterfly bush or in a mixed garden. You saw in our images, we had them with cone flowers and coreopsis. So this is going to be a great plant. But, but Dan, it's also a pollinator plant. Yep. So we are bringing you so many great pollinator plants in this show. It's going to work great with your butterfly bushes. What should we grab? The pink? What, what do you think? The blue? You're asking the colorblind guy. <laughs> what are you thinking? I mean, I was going to grab you the plan, yellow. You plant whole gardens. <laughs> And you're asking me. I was going to grab the yellow, but the blue is closest. So, look at this together, um, though. That's I, cool. And I think these look absolutely stunning. So if you are putting your butterfly bushes in the ground, this will get to be about four or five feet tall and about four or five feet wide. Your poquito will be there right in the front. And, and they'll bloom at the same time. They both love full sun. And your garden will be full of so life. If you're old enough, do you remember the... The 164 pack of Crayola crayons. Yeah, oh yeah. The, I call it the stadium pack. Yes. You know, it was like rows of bleachers, and all the little crayons were. Standing it's the one that had ready. the sharpener in the back. Ah yes. That's the one the rich kids had. <laughs> okay. I had the five pack of the real big fat. You know, and you had to chew on them. Kindergarten sure. ones. <laughs> yeah. Well, you kind of want your gardens to do that. You do want kind yes. of a, a a low, a medium, and a high. Absolutely. Yeah, you want to plant different colors, but you want complementary colors, of course. You don't want, well, you might want a rainbow of colors. Who knows if you've got little kids or grandkids like you. Okay. But these are going to be those hot, hot colors. The other great thing about them, as we talked about earlier with our butterfly bushes, the leaves are so the fragrant. Foliage, yes. They're a minty, so you can just crush them. You can smell yeah. them. They have this minty scent, which when <sighs> the leaves have a scent, you know what that means. Uh, well, Deer don't like them. Yeah, yeah. He the, knew. the stinkier the plant, you. Uh, stinky is a bad word. The more fragrant the plant, yes. the less deer like the flavor. I don't know why that is. You would think deer would be attracted to that, but it's the exact opposite. So if you want to keep deer out of your garden, plant pollinators. Yeah, you got it. So these are this bright, bright hummingbird mint, this bright yellow that is going to attract the pollinators to your garden, be absolutely fragrant. And the, the cool thing about the fragrance is these are great cut flowers. So, oh, okay. and so does the butterfly bush. So those would be really cool because the butterfly bush has this graceful arch. That's our TSV for the day. Yep. These are much more tall and straight. So it would be a really cool cut flower container indoors for you to have all summer long. And I always, I always try to take in the entire plant, not just a flower. Mm -hmm. uh, and you're going to get flowers again for, from summer all the way until frost. But look at the density of these. Uh, some plants are leggy, they're sparse. This gives you these, this wonderful sense of greenery. Mm. And, and there is a softness to this plant. 
There really is. I think it's the it's the leaves. You know, there are these wide leaves with the tooth. This is what you get. And so you will definitely get flowers this year. These are going to be, because they're more compact, um, second season here, what we have right. on set. Yep. But this is what you get That's at fair. home. They do like full sun. They'll get to be about 18 inches tall. So you're going to plant them about 12 inches apart if you want to plant these together. Remember, planting in threes is the best design element. So we're giving you three. All of that information comes in the pamphlet. They ship them at the appropriate time for you to put them in the ground or in your pot uh, where you happen to live. So they're going to ship at a different time yeah. you know, to people in Texas than yes. it will for you know, folks in my hometown of Indiana. Uh, yeah. We don't get a chance to be able to see things like this at our local gardening centers. Right. In fact, if you go to your local gardening centers right now, they're not, they're not even stocked yet. They're no. not ready. Or might not even be open. Yes. We're so open. We're helping you plan. We're helping you to get ready. It's, it's six more weeks to winter. <laughs> According to Punxsutawney <laughs> Phil, uh, I, I believe in rodents. I, you know, he's the uh, seasayer of seasayers. That's what they say. Uh, and the guy always looks like a Monopoly guy. Uh, he does. Yeah. I don't know that outfit. The, the mayor. Yeah. The mayor. They're wonderful. We still have a little bit more time together, right? Yes. Uh, we got to show Two them the roses. Two more plants. Let's do wait, it. Wait till you see those roses coming up. That's gorgeous.